Good morning, Weaver Wildcats, and happy Wednesday morning to everyone. We do have a lot of people to recognize today, so let's go ahead and jump right in. And oh, look at that. It, today is Wildcat Wednesday, and so we'd like to see pictures with all of that college gear that you have or just the colors of the college that you want to attend. So make sure to Email those pictures to egong at weaverusd.org, and we look forward to seeing all of the college attire on campus today. We also want to wish our academic pentathlon team. Academic pentathlon is a group of students that have been studying all year to compete against other schools with academics, and so we want to wish them today a good luck in their competition today that starts today and they'll continue on Saturday. So good luck to all of our superstar academic pentathlon athletes. So in the sixth grade, we want to recognize and well wish to Devin Weber, Jetsu Patel, Ashley Bali, and Kiara Zendejas Seldana. Good luck to our sixth grade team. And then for our seventh grade team, we have Ari Castro and Christian Martinez. Good luck today, guys. And to our eighth grade team, we have Atticus Yu, Sliadar, and Chloe Feliciano. So we just want to wish all of our academic pentathletes good luck today and on Saturday as you work towards your goal of what you've been studying hard all year for. So good luck to all of our students competing. We also want to recognize, I don't know if you remember back, but when we were submitting writing for the Merced County Writing Festival, we do have our winners, and those winners will have their writing displayed on the Merced County Office of Education website on May 1st. And those winners are in the sixth grade. We had Aubrey Villa, Pedro Salcido, Jose, Josue Quintero, Ashley Bali, Elias Esquivel, Emily Lee, Luis Del Villar Carrillo and Elizabeth Diaz Barrientos, all recognized and all receiving first, second, or third place for the category of their writing. Big congratulations to everyone listed there. In our seventh grade, we had Naomi Lowry. Congratulations for her first place finish with her rhymed poem. Great job, Naomi. And our eighth grade, we want to recognize Giselle Gracias, Santiago Quintero Barajas, Valerie Vega, Atticus Yu, Rakaya Arman, Leah Hernandez Gonzalez, and Sitlali Samantha Garcia Morales for their first, second, and third place finishes in the Merced County Writing Festival. So a big congratulations to all of our students that placed. And a big congratulations to all of our students that submitted writing during this time. It was a lot more difficult, but you guys shined not only at your school, but in your county. So congratulations to all those students. And what better way to segue than getting right into the Weaver Way. What we are is Weaver Wildcats. Let's make sure that we continue to work responsibly, have that excellent behavior, that can-do attitude achievement, valuing everyone, exhibiting respect, and being ready to learn. All right, Wildcats, this is the part where we have to focus, especially if we are in person. The most important thing, we are not out of this yet. We need to continue to do our part to make sure that everyone is safe. So make sure that while you are on school, you continue to wear your face covering over your mouth and your nose, and make sure you continue to distance yourself from your friends and stay with your class. I do understand how difficult this is. I have difficulty with it myself at times, but it is very important that we continue to do these things. So make sure as well as that, we're washing our hands frequently. We're practicing that good respiratory hygiene. We're avoid touching our eyes, nose, and mouth. I already spoke about the maintaining our social distance and wearing our face coverings. And if you're feeling sick, make sure that you are staying home and taking that time to get better. Let's also remind ourselves that during distance learning, these are some of the things that are going to help you experience more success. Make sure you're checking your school Gmail account every day and your Google Classroom. 
Make sure you're checking into your daily class meetings because that is when you can get the extra help that you need and you have your teachers during that time. Make sure you're watching the daily announcements for anything that's coming up around the school and answering that question of the day so that we remain a school community. And then make sure you're also taking those frequent brain breaks where you're getting up and moving around and getting that blood back into your brain. All right, Wildcats, so since it is Wednesday in the afternoon, we will go in the sixth grade from periods one, three, five, and eight. Make sure that morning time, if you're a distance learning student, to make sure you check in with your distance learning teacher and make sure you're getting that work done. In the seventh grade, the afternoon, you'll be in periods one, three, six, and eight. And for our eighth grade, same thing as the seventh grade, you will be in periods one, three, six, and eight today. Oh, right, Wildcats. So yesterday was National Scrabble Day. And so our question of the day for National Scrabble Day was, what is your favorite board game? And Weaver's favorite board games, I did share that my favorite is Monopoly. And these were some of the answers that we received from our Wildcats. So big thank you to all of our students that participated in our question of the day. And for all of the great memories, if you look at how many of these games did you play? Or have you played or do you still play? So thank you to everyone that participated. And hopefully this brings back just some great memories of some great games that you may have played. All right, it's Wednesday. So Miss Dewey will be holding Netflix Club today after school. Make sure to email her for more information. And we have Spanish Club. And if you'd like more information for that, make sure to email either Miss Combs Flores or Miss Ramirez for more information on Spanish Club. That's meeting today after school. All right, for softball, we want to say thank you to everyone that came for the first of the two tryout dates yesterday on Tuesday. You, If you are interested in trying out for softball and you didn't have a chance to make it on Tuesday, you still have Thursday from 4 to 5.30. But again, remember, you must have completed your rapid antigen test before you can try out. And we do have that available for you at the school every day from 9 to 3, Monday through Friday. Baseball, we look forward to our athletes that are trying out for baseball today. We will see you today after school from 4 to 5.30. Make sure before you come to tryouts that you have already completed a rapid antigen COVID test and you have your signed permission slip for competing in baseball. All right, and today is International Moment of Laughter Day. And laughter is something that I think is extremely important and meditating and just making sure that we keep our spirits bright. And so our question of the day is no question of the day. What we do is we have a challenge of the day and we're going to spend some time laughing today, maybe, Hang on at the end of the announcements today, and we have a video that we're going to be sharing. So make sure you don't have a question of the day, so you do not need to answer a question of the day, but make sure to participate in the challenge of the day and find some time today to spend some time laughing. All right, Wildcats, that's what we have for you today. Make sure to hold on after the announcements are over for that video. Hopefully it'll make you laugh. Made me laugh. And don't forget, Wildcats. Each one of you is great. Just allow yourselves to be. Have a great day. Ha, 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 ha,